Hey viewers, this is your boy Steve Slim in the building. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking to a young, beautiful fashion designer. I mean, she's amazing. Hey, so Delis, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Delis, Delis, or Delis? Delis. D I L I S, that's the name. Delis. It means you're delicious. That's what. Uh, I, I can say that's what I right? see. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. thank so, um, can you briefly talk about yourself? Where do you hail from? Okay, um, I saw this Pembe Angry. Pembe Angry, that's yes. Abakwa. Yes, one Abakwa name Abakwa. Abakwa. <laughs> Okay, my mom is from that side mm. of the country, yeah. But I hail from the southwest province. My father is from the southwest province, mm. Zian Division to be precise. I'm a rock rock. So you're a mixed breed? Yes. Like oh, that's amazing. Two ends of the country. Wow. So um can you tell me when you indulge when did you indulge into the fashion industry? Okay, like um when I was a little girl, like in my early years in secondary school, like from one, I started sketching, you know, I would draw just anything, a car, yeah. books, whatever I could just think of. During my prep period, I would spend my time drawing things. So I, I always wanted to, to do fashion, but I wanted to concentrate more on clothes. But because of school, I could not just start, you know, sometimes you're, you come up with certain things, your parents are like, no, you no, can't do it, no. you must go to school yeah. first. So I could not come up with that until when I got to the university. Then I thought I, I could start when I was in the university, as in the earliest in the university. But yeah. because school was really tight, my program in school was so tight, so I had to wait until the last year. That's early last year in February. I actually started what I had the, the designs I had to put down in drawing and all that. I had to go get materials, get a tailor, and then do wow. the designs. It's a bold step. Thank you. It's a bold step. So how do your parents take it? Well, um, I know parents are like, this girl's going crazy. What is she doing? Yes, I, I can remember there was a certain time my mom was like, okay. I'm not very sure about your schooling because now you're yeah, like, I'm designing, I have a show here, I want to do a show there. So, what's up? What is really happening to, to you? And I'm like, that's okay. Let me tell you, I love school, but there's one thing have to do and was do this design it is what I love so I really have to get serious about it and she was like okay no problem but my, my parents are really encouraging me my dad especially he's so like head mm -hmm. over heels for it yeah he likes everything about my wow. brother so your mom is from the division no my mom you, is from the northwest northwest province so your your dad is from the do you integrate their the traditional outfits into your, your designs? Oh yes, like my latest collection or my upcoming collection, I'm going to concentrate on my mom and my dad, as in the various, the outfits Wow, the they really sites. inspire you. Yes. Actually, the name of my line is Hair Moise. It's a mixture of my father and my mother. I was name. about getting to that. Yeah. You just let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> okay. Wow. So tell me, tell me, let me get to that. Tell me about Hair Moise. Her Moise is, like I said, it's a combination of my mom and my dad's name. My mother is called Hermine, I saw Hermine. My dad is Moses, but you know the Francophone started called it Moise. Mo Moise. So, but in his school days, he, he called the, his friends called him Moise. Moise. So, I had to fuse the names and I came up with Her Moise. It's, it's just my own way of giving them back the love they have shown me all this while, like, since I was born. Yeah, so. so, why not, um, why not... It's a bit logical. Okay. Why not hair Moses? Okay, um, I thought of that. It's 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 nice as well. No, it sounds I, it yeah. sounds pretty cool to me. It's, it sounds cool. Yeah, hair you Moses know, fashion le um, level. You, you know, know my, okay. Let me tell you something. My parents are editing like since when they were in lower city. Hey. Yes. Too fun. <laughs> Uh -huh. I can't say that yeah, since when they were in Lower Seed, my I was born in when my parents were in Upper Seed. Yeah. So Hair Moise has always been a name that has been known by their classmates and friends. So I had to just carry the name for you understand. I had to just carry it for Wow, they really inspire you positively. Okay. okay. So um can you tell me about your your projects? 
Okay, so far so good. I have attended two fashion shows, as in my designs have gone on the wrong way two times. The first show was the Tia Magrin fashion, uh, Tia Magrin Spotlight. He, it was, it was held in Boya at St. Pierre's Hall. Yeah, yeah there I, I had the opportunity. I was there. I was there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can remember seeing you there. Yeah, I was there. I had the opportunity to work with wonderful designers like Tia Magrin. I also worked with them. Uh, uh, Peggy FBI, Lange. Peggy Lange, they, oh, they, they are wonderful, they are really wonderful people. I also worked with Elgin Day. The second uh, uh, fashion show was the Bamenda Rocks to organized by Kyrie Kutu. It was during uh, the, this festive period, that was December. I was in Bamenda, still with Tia Macron. Um, I met Nubi, Silani, Chacho, Rodrigue, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of wonderful designers, it was a wonderful experience, seriously. What kind of designs do you do? What fabric do you use to design? Um, actually, I use the African, the African fabric, the Ankara. So I try to use... Um, what did um, you say? Ankara? Yes. Wow. That's another way to call the African fabric. That no, sounds strange in my ears. Yes. So um, I use the Kente. That's a Ghanaian uh, uh, fabric. They call it Kente. I use the Bamenda, the grassroots fabric. Yeah. So, but it's strictly African fabric. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit of European just to do some decoration for this. Yeah. So someone told me about your upcoming event. Yes. I want to hear it from your mom. Yes, actually I'm launching my 2011 collection. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be on the 26th of March in Limbe at Lady Air Restaurant. That's Church Street Limbe on the 26th of March, 5.30. Everything is going to start. Sales 26th points. of March at Lady Air Restaurant, right? Yes, in Limbe. In Limbe. So be there on time. So what's your last word like? Okay, um, if I have to say something, I think that the government should come in or stakeholders, you know, like business people should come in to support us because fashion is really not selling in Cameroon. So I think that for us to sensitize people and to make people to, to, to already start loving what is happening and appreciate us, we, uh, the government should come in to help us, you know, like do numerous shows. Every As we are doing shows every day, people are getting aware and they are knowing what is actually happening in the society and they will, they will get to be involved in So there will be a lot of um, showcase, like exhibits during the show. So you said the show will hold in, in Limbe, 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 Limbe Cameroon. Cameroon yes, 26th okay. of March. 26th of March. Of March yes. Okay. Hope we'll be there, you know. I'm looking forward to having everybody there. It's going to be a wonderful experience. Oh, Zilis. It was nice having you on the next Dim Show. Thank you. We hope to have you some other time. Of course. Thank you so Always much. Always be around available anytime. Thank you so very much.